Hello everybody, Dustin Hartzer here from YourWebsiteEngineer.com and today I've got a brief tutorial on how you can change your WordPress website fonts, how you can make those a custom font to make your site look just a little bit a little bit nicer and just get rid of some of those normal boring fonts that are out there. Now you can see here I just have a brand new installation of um, WordPress. It is the 2011 version and that's all that there is there. There's nothing else that's going on here on this website and so I just installed it and I'm going to show you how to make the change to change this text to something just a little bit neater or a little bit cooler. So there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. The easiest way by far and the one that I'm going to show you today is using Google Web Fonts. And you can find out more if you Google Google Web Fonts or you can just go to google.com slash web fonts. And here they've got 506 font families that are safe for modern browsers. So what that means is it's going to take a little extra time to load these, but Google's going to do all the hard work of making sure that they render and they look good on everybody's website. So you can go through and you can filter some of these. You can go through, you can say that I, I only want to look at the the sans serif and the display handwriting and or not the display but just the handwriting you can go through and you can change the thickness and you can change your width you can to kind of narrow these down now you can see that I only have eight families left and maybe these aren't exactly what I'm looking for so what I do then is just go down here and choose reset all filters and search and once you're there you can you can just re you click that button and then all of them show back up and so we're going to go through and there's a couple that I want to add and I want to show you exactly how to do this and so you can scroll down through all these fonts and you can see exactly what they look like they've got a sentence all of them have the exact same sentence on there so you can you can see what they're going to look like and the first one that I want to add is the over the rainbow it's very simple all you do is click add to collection and so we've got that one added to collection and then we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for another one. So I'm thinking the over the rainbow can be a cool font for the H1 tags, but let's get something that's just going to be a little bit nicer for the, the text for the website as well. And so we want to scroll down through here and let's see what else kind of catches my eye. This is kind of how I, I pick fonts out. It's something that really just catches my eye. And so I'm going to use overlock as well. So I've added that to the collection. And now what I want to do is just go to the use tab. I've got two font families in my collection. I'm going to go over to the use tab and it shows that it's going to take 39 milliseconds for your web page to load based on the code that's being added. And what that is, is it's based on just loading the font styles for the normal 400, which that's the only option. And then the overlock with the normal 400. If you think you're going to need some italic or bold or ultra bold, you can load those font families as well. But notice as I click click this, check over on the right hand side, that number is actually getting bigger. So we're over up to 99 milliseconds that it's going to take the page to load. And so you don't want to load extra fonts because it's just going to slow things down. It's going to take longer for people to actually see that on your website. So I'm just going to show you exactly how to do the normal on both of them. And then you scroll down and you want to say that you you want the Latin. If you want the Latin extended, you can, you're more than welcome to check that as well. And then you add two lines of code or two sections of code to your WordPress site. The first one is this code that's going to go in your header.php file. So this is the line of code that's actually going to link your website to Google servers to say, hey, we need to go get the code for these fonts. And so we're going to paste that into the header.php file. And then the second bit of code, this is going to actually be pasted into to the style.css page. And so this is just kind of a very basic thing to do. But first, let's go ahead and let's add this to your website. So we will copy this. So I'm just gonna highlight it in Control or Command C here on the Mac and then go over to the dashboard. And then where you find this information is under Appearance. And you can go to Appearance and then under Editor. And from there, it's automatically going to pull up the style.css. We don't want that one quite yet. The one that we want first is the header.php. So we'll go ahead and click on the header.php here. And then we can scroll down and we can find a place to put this. I like to put them all with these, these other links that are going on here. So I'm just going to hit enter right here. And then I'm going to hit paste. And then that's going to save that right there. And then I need to update the file. Okay, now that that one's finally updated and it's it's edited successfully, now let's open up that uh, style.css file again that was already open. Let's see if I can find that. The style.css. We'll open this and then we want to paste this other code into the style.css. So I'm going to make the over the rainbow, the cursive, um, that font family is going to go for H1. And so let's go over here and let's scroll through and see what is being called for H1. And so as we scroll through here, we can find, so maybe it might be easier just to, to search for H1. And we're gonna go ahead and 
put it right here. We're going to paste that code right in there and then we'll save it. And then that should actually update all the headers to be the exact same. So we'll go back over here and we'll hit refresh and see what it looks like. And there you go. That has changed to hello world. And it is that in that nice new font, it's, it's a little bit different. And then this way, all the other fonts that are H1, H2, H3, you can see those, those are over here. The recent posts has changed. The recent comments have changed. The archives have changed. The categories have changed. And so you can, you can see what that actually did. Now, if you only wanted it to go on the H1, tag you could go ahead and you could just you could just go here and you can say h1 and then bracket and then you could paste that and then you can put m bracket and then we can remove it from here and then we can click save and then that will only show up in the h1 tag now let's see what happens when i refresh it still is over here as the hello world as so that looks good but then over here this is the h2 or h3 and those are still looking like they did before so that's a real simple way to do that and then to add the second line of code so the the overlock you'll just have to go and find exactly where you want that to go and so you can go through and scroll through here and see exactly i'm gonna guess it's in this it's the p tag and we will we'll paste that there and we'll see if that actually updates and then we'll go through and the welcome to WordPress text should be a little bit different and you can tell it definitely is. And so that is one thing that you can do. And it's a very simple tip and you can, you can find out more information. You can have more. Oh, it even changes it up there at the top. This was an H1 tag as well. So that's kind of a neat way to go through and you can change your web fonts. One other thing that I did want to mention just real quick is in case there's some reason that your website browser, maybe it's IE6 or something that's not the newest, if, if there's something that it cannot display this overlock for some reason or the over the rainbow, then the fallback is just going to be the normal cursive. And so it's not going to be the exact same, but it's going to do a pretty decent job of of rendering something that's very similar. So there's some testing that you can do, but in general, most of these fonts are going to look, look good and they're going to do exactly what you want them to. So that's what I want to share with you today. If you need more help, more tips, more resources, make sure that you check out yourwebsiteengineer.com.